फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल माइंडफुल कॉन वो प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द इनपुट मैथड्स इन आर पी एफ वी हैव थ्री इनपुट मैथड्स दैट इज टाइप इन टू सेंड हॉट की एंड क्लिक इन टाइप इन टू एज वी कैन सी द प्रॉपर्टीज दैट वी हैव सम कॉमन प्रॉपर्टीज some options same as for send hotkey we have the same common properties and some options related to the send hotkeys then in the click we have again some common properties input and options this we will see one by one with the help of practical examples so first we will come to the ui path and in ui path tool first of all uh, we will see we will do some practical examples in the notepad example we will type some text in the notepad we will click somewhere in the notepad and we will send some hotkey in order to close the notepad okay so if we want to do some work on the notepad then what do we need to do first of all we need to open the notepad app okay and then we need to take attach window because in this attach window method we need to capture the notepad okay so now first of all we will click on the indicate window uh, wait uh, we need to delete it and again we need to take this now we will click on the indicate window screen and here's our notepad gets attached now in the do activity what do we need to do first of all we will do the example of the type into input methods so in type into as we can see that there are various options so in the first option what is activate as when we can hover the mouse we will also see this that when this checkbox is selected the specified ui element is brought to the foreground and activated before the text is written so this method should always be checked because when we need to write something let's say in the notepad it brought the notepad to the foreground and it gets the screen of the notepad activated where we want to enter the text then the next is alter if disabled the action is still executed even if the specified element is disabled even also we can see here if the selected simulated type is executed even if the specified ui element is readable only or disabled click before typing so enabling this action robot clicks at the location when we want to input the text okay this we will see in the example also delay between the keys so delay time between the two keys default is basically 10 millisecond whereas the maximum time we can enter is 100 or oh, sorry 1000 milliseconds okay so this also we can see in the example empty field what do we mean by the empty field it will override all the existing content that is all the previous written text gets removed before writing the new text the send window messages and the simulate type these are the background activities that we will see with the help of the difference in the slide that is this but first we will see the example of type into okay now in the type into 
what we will have we will have the indicate element inside the window so first of all we will indicate the element where we want to write the text and if we want to specify the text let's say mindful okay so and when we run this text when we run this window what do we see see the mindful is written in that window okay now the next property what we have to see is that click before typing if i enable this activity and when i run this again we will see that there is some error that it is not able to find the attached window on window on the notepad okay let's see the example the execution is still processing it is trying to find out the notepad window see we have a exception here that it cannot find the ui element corresponding to the selector that is this so selector not found exception we will click okay and when but when and what we will see here is that notepad.exe untitled we have attached this window see untitled notepad and when we see this we will see that there is a star behind the untitled so now what do we need to do is that we will click and edit the selector and delete this title so that it will take the notepad any notepad validate and we will click validate now when we run this file it will take the notepad and what we will see here it will first click on the notepad and then start it typing okay now delay between the keys here what we have to do is we need to select the weight attribute and in this okay let's drop the weight attribute let's say we will select 100 here okay 100 means 100 milliseconds it means that when i enter the mindful here then it will take 100 milliseconds to write each and every key like first m then after 100 milliseconds it will write i then after milliseconds 100 milliseconds it will write n and also in this empty field what do we mean by empty field the notepad the this written part when we enable the empty field then it will first delete these already written elements and the and write that element that we enter into this text box like i write convo so when we run this file what we will see it will take some time in the execution and see now we we will see that it will override the mindful mindful written there and write the combo with the delay between the keys with the 100 milliseconds okay now as we will done by this we will take the click action so in the click action what we will see that let's say we need to click on the minimize option so wait we will take the click again and 
we will click on the minimize yes we will click on the minimize so when we run the file what do we see now that it will enter the text convo after deleting the convo text that means overriding the text because we have enabled the empty field it will minimize the notepad see convo and it will minimize the notepad okay so in this what we have seen that in the click what do we mean by the input and the click type the click type it specifies the type of mouse click either up down single or double if we want to double click on any element then we will use click double if we click down on the element then we will click use click down and what do we mean by the mouse button mouse button means where do we want to click on the mouse either on the left side or on the right side or in the middle now in the options what we have seen that it is written alter if disabled as we have already seen that the alter if disabled means the action is still executed even if the specified element is disabled it means it will no it will not show any exception okay now the key modifiers the key modifiers include the alt control shift and window then the send window messages and the simulate click i have already told you that we will going to read this in the next slide now we will take the send hot key okay so in the send hot key there is a key option in the input in which if i but if we, i write enter here then it will take that input now in the options what we will see that activate it will always be activated it is same as ac activate in the type into in which it is written that if it is selected then it will brought the ui element in the foreground and activate it before the any action takes place then delay between the keys now in this the delay between the keys means that if i write or if i use any the keys like the shift plus f4 or alt plus f4 then it will delay between the both the keys now same as it is in the empty field if i want to enter any text using the send hot key then it will first empty the field then it will write the text key modifiers so what do we mean by the key modifiers it enables to add a key modifier that is the various also various action options are available in this drop down like alt control shift and window and the special key the special key means that a list is provided in the keys drop down in which we can select any key with which are being pressed with a combination of alt control shift and window okay so now we will see the example of the send hot key when the send hot key in the send hot key what example we can take is we can uh close the we can try to close the notepad and when we will try to close the notepad then it will give us this window okay so let's start first of all we need to indicate the element that is this and we will and the shortcut of the closing the window is alt and we f4 
so we need to find the f4 key here when we find the f4 key here it is the f4 key uh, we need to disable this wait we can delete this okay so what do we see that first of all it will write the text convo and then it will close the window so while using the run when but we will see that it will see and it will close the window as we will get this pop up it means it will try to close the notepad window now as we all can go through this now we will come to our next slide that is the difference between the default method simulate type and the send window messages basically these both are for the background execution okay now we will see that the speed of the simulate type is 100% faster than the by default method and the send window message method then if we can see that uh, there is that there are hot keys then by default methods allow the hot keys send window messages also allow the hot keys whereas the simulate type never allow the hot keys while in the simulate type there is a auto empty field method that the method is by default enabled in this simulate type and in other in the by default method and the send window messages auto enable field is not enabled auto empty field is not enabled so we can also see the example of these in order to work in the background first of all we need to minimize our notepad so in order to minimize our notepad we will first indicate the element and click on the minimize button okay next we will also take the type into and in the type into what we can see is that we need to indicate the screen that is and then when we type let's say background and when we will select the send window messages as true then what we will see now let's start the execution when we will run the file see the convo is written then it will click on the minimize key and we will see here the background is also written see the background is written here okay so guys that's all for today and as i say always that do practice these things otherwise you will not be able to get the clarity of the topics do make the practical implementation of all these things so stay tuned for the other videos goodbye